Duncan, the host of Great Day Houston, otherwise known as the lady who got chip slapped on live TV by a monkey because I grabbed his grape. It was a slap heard around the world. Network news, New York, LA, London, Mexico, even Australia. You know how many times I heard, you could have had a V8, Deborah? Could have had a V8. Anyway, it was the talk of the town that eventually ended up on talk TV. You ever tease a monkey with a grape? <laughs> great day Houston's host Deborah Duncan did and it went great we have some more animals that are coming out here right now let's see what you oh yes oh okay here. okay Wilson you want to co-host with me we here here you go oh, look, look what I got is it great <laughs> I'll, I'll take that She's blind now, so great day, great day, Houston. Hey, Dad, there's a guest here to see you in the green room. Um, I wasn't expecting anybody. Who is it? <laughs> I'm just the messenger. Yes. <gasps> you! Well, now. Brian, do you mind if Wilson and I have a little bit of alone time? for your 11 studios. It's Great Day Houston. And now, here's your host, Deborah Duncan. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Great Day. Well, I always say, when you have kids and animals on the show, you never know what's going to happen. I understand that Wilson would like to make an apology, so please welcome Wilson and Brian Staples, zoologist with Staples Safari Zoo. Let me say, I am okay. My eye is fine. People around the world, all over the place, England, everywhere, going, are you okay? I'm okay. I am okay. <laughs> Were you surprised at how crazy this went? I, I said this is going to go viral, and what happened? It went viral. <laughs> yes, it did. You know, but it also is a great way, for, which is what you do with your zoo, to educate people. People oftentimes say, I want a monkey because they're so cute. Because that was the other thing people were saying to me. How do I get a monkey? Well, you got to know what you're getting because it's a perpetual two-year-old. <laughs> yes, we talked about that before. And uh, the, this is a two-year-old that you'll have to change diapers for for the rest of their life. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, monkeys aren't great pets. They're individual little beings, and they've got great personalities, and they cry real little tears, and they really laugh, Aww. and they're ticklish, and they get embarrassed with all those emotions. Uh, if you make a monkey mad, he'll slap you in the face. Yes, yes, he will. And I, I made him mad. I was teasing him with his grape. I made him mad. All right, so, Brian, <laughs> that's how you end up getting a lot of these pets. People think they can handle it, and they can't. Yeah, yeah. People think that uh, that, that cool, exotic animal is going to make a great backyard pet, or you're going to put fainel polish and dresses on your little monkey, and she's going to be your surrogate child. I know you're clicking that pen. He's really anxious to write you an apology letter. Oh, okay. Well, bring it on, Wilson. But the truth is, ever these guys don't make good pets. They they would rather be hanging out with their own family members in their own jungles. You got to click the ink out and write. I'm sorry, Deborah. Oh. oh I know. Oh. Did you just? That was almost rude. Did you see his scratch? Yeah. <laughs> this is a bittersweet apology. I okay. am Wilson. Finish writing your note, and I'll accept your apology. Finish, Wilson. Finish writing the note, yeah, and I will accept right, your apology. Right, right here. Just say, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, gee, guys. Look, there is an uh, I'm sorry there. Oh, wait, oh, Wilson, thank you. Can we make? Can we kiss and make up? Can Wilson, I? Give, give me the pen. Get up here on Deborah's shoulder. Come up here real quick. <laughs> Just get up here. I, we, we brought something to give to Deborah. That's right. You brought her. What'd you bring her? Your favorite snack? Carrots. Move up here on her shoulder. All the way up on the shoulder, Wilson. Here we go. And you take that carrot. Oh. Thank you, Wilson. Give me a kiss. Thank you, Wilson. Can you shake hands? Well, shake that's hands. a high five. Oh, high five? High, high five. five? Yeah, buddy. And here's another carrot for Wilson. 
One for Devin, one for Wilson. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know how heartfelt this apology really yeah, is. Yeah, we're going to have to work on it. But Wilson, it's okay. I have friends with therapists, and she's willing to meet with us. All right. <laughs> There's another animal that you have that might be a little more calmer than the capuchin monkey. I don't know if I would say that, but Andres, if uh, we could just let Deborah have her oh, 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 look at you. This is a ringtail lemur? That's exactly right. How did you guess? So they had a ring tail, exactly and I'm right. glad that this lemur is wearing a diaper. Yeah. <laughs> That's primate insurance. Yeah. Now, these lemurs are actually, uh, they're in the primate or the monkey family also. Come here, Wilson. Come up here. Here, you can hang out with the pen and watch. Now, Tyler is a ring tail lemur. Uh, these guys are prosimians from the jungles of Madagascar, and because they come from only one place in the world, that puts them on the critically endangered species list. Huh. Would you like a bite? Oh, sure. There you go. <laughs> All right, Brian, tell folks uh, who may have missed it the first time what it is that you do with this zoo. Well, we take in animals uh, that uh, are just tremendous little ambassadors. Maybe somebody's ex-pet, uh, maybe some social issue or a physical issue that would preclude them from being part of a zoo setting. And we get out and uh, up and personal with uh, kids from around the world and get them excited about our natural world. Yeah, and don't you find that, I, I saw a, a pet with a, a gentleman there was in a wheelchair, don't you find that... Human beings, even if they can't communicate with each other, can communicate with a pet because sometimes they understand and they're non-judgmental. You're absolutely right. You know, we have an opportunity to travel around and visit the kids at the Shriners hospitals around the country, uh, nursing facilities and, and other children's hospitals, and you're absolutely right. The barriers go down. Uh, there's complete acceptance on both parties, and it's the most amazing thing. When we visit a, a nursing home, for example, uh, an Alzheimer's unit, you'll see the synapses reconnect when a monkey climbs on somebody's lap. Now, they might think it's uh, uh, maybe not a monkey, but uh, it's it's the coolest thing. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. other thing, too, is that you got to answer the question. When people say, okay, we, yeah, we know it's important to, to save these animals, but why is it important to save a lemur on the other side of the world? Yeah, we share a very tiny world, and uh, we are the ambassadors. We're the voice. These little critters that have tiny little voices need to be have a loud voice like ours. And we have the resources in America where we can step up to the plate and say, hey, I'm going to be an advocate and a spokesperson for these guys. Yeah. And when one thing oh, perishes, get that, yeah, get, that, get that monkey off my back. When one thing perishes, it can't be too far behind that we're threatened of perishing as well. It always affects us at some point. Uh, <laughs> He's a drummer. I think he's a drummer right now. You know, he wasn't well, hanging out with Tommy Lee not very long ago, yeah, yeah, playing on yeah, Tommy's yeah. drum. Yeah. Well, well, I'll send you a picture of that. That's pretty cool. Well, Brian, I want to thank you. When you come to town, usually once, usually once a year, you come for the Bridgeland event. But uh, you made a special trip to come back so that Wilson and I could patch things up. Well, I patched things up. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. For and I won't let the monkey slap you, but I'll give you a hug. Oh, Okay, do you want to Are you jealous? Are you ready? All right. Rumble in the jungle. High five? Yeah, there you go. If you would like to learn more about Brian's mission with the animals and the Staple Safari Zoo, you can log on to our site at greatdayhouston.com. And really, you know what I'm thinking now? I'm thinking he didn't mean to hit me in the head. It was just a misguided high five. He just missed. Yeah. He just missed. Okay, never he mind. He watches one episode of uh, Night in the Museum and smack. Yeah, bam, there we go. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Well,